Um, Anna? Where is everyone? I'm not sure, Ben. I could be wrong, but I could have sworn I saw lights turning off as we came in. And people closing their shutters and locking doors. So you noticed it too then, huh? It's so strange. Never mind that. Let's just keep our eyes open. There has to be someone somewhere around here who knows the wizard, right? Okay, Anna. I'll let you know if I find someone helpful looking who's not angry at us. I'm just a regular man looking for a regular wizard. Just an everyday thing. sure that's a good place to ask about the wizard. Wanted. A young, young girl and their companion? Wait, what is this? It goes on to describe me exactly. The two are extremely dangerous. Do not approach, but warn authorities immediately. By order of the royal family? I don't understand. We didn't do anything. I don't know what this is about, but I think we best get what we need and leave as soon as possible. The sign says Blackley's Blacksmith. Bits, bobs, are broken. We meet all your metal smithery needs. Hello? Is someone in there? Huh? Sorry? I just said hello. I was wondering if I could ask you about a few things. Uh, I've got too much work as it is. Sorry, you'll have to come back later. Oh, okay then. Aw, so cute. So talented. Have to say though, all the glum frowns are ruining the fun a bit. Oh, how lovely. Aren't you all just the sweetest? Ah, yes. The people of Wunderhorn. At last they come to show their admiration. More talking animals. Aw, you are so cute. Good gracious. The girl wastes no time of forgoing talent for superficiality. Me, the great Rustwig van Betoriki. My word, truly there's no respect for the greats anymore. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Roostwig. I didn't mean any offense. All right, all right. Very well. What is it you want, then? Why are you the great Von Beitariki? Are you famous? Ah, oh, am I? My word. Were you educated in the slightest, commoner? Oh, the people of Bremen. They did love me so. It is true. Alas, all good things must come to an end. They stopped coming to your shows? Uh, no. I was exiled, forced to abandon my town like a mere common criminal. But I persevere, as all greats do. Do not fear or mourn for me, commoner. Right. I'll try not to. But what did you do? Did you do something bad, Roostwig? Well, my companions and I had procured residency in the cottage for our retiring comfort. However, some Bremen commoners took it upon themselves to call it uh, squatting. So you're all homeless then? Do you have anywhere to stay? <sighs> the proverbial cat is out of the bag. Might as well profess it all. If truth be told, we had reserved a desirable lakeside residence. It was perfect. Alas, upon our arrival, a band of uncouth rogues took it upon themselves to uh, bargain with the owners. Oh, you mean they struck a better deal and the owners ran with it? Ah, well, you could say that. The owners did indeed run. Far, far away. Oh, oh, that kind of bargaining. Oh my, well, that, that's not fair, Roostwig. That's robbery. Dear Fräulein, they're not called rogues without reason. But someone should do something. Roostwig, 
That cabin should have been yours. Just leave it with me. I'm going to go see if I can level with them and get you guys your home. Level? Level with uncouth rogues? You do that. Where was the cabin you guys wanted to settle down in? If truth be told, we had reserved a desirable lakeside that... Alas... Uh... Just leave it with me. I'm going to go see if I can level with them and get you guys your home. Level? Don't these guys talk too? I've never met animals before who talk. Is that a Voondahorn kind of thing or something? It is an education thing. And I don't want to be considered a common animal thing. But sadly, no. My companions are without the same expertise of the human language. I'm afraid you'll have to restrict your swooning to me. All right. I better let you all get back to what you're doing. It's a wanted poster made by the royal family. For me and Ben, of all people. I don't know what this is about, but I think we best get what we need and leave as soon as possible. Ah, uh, I don't think vandalizing the posters will make us less guilty. Wow, I always thought these were really beautiful in my books at home. It's even more impressive in person though. So pretty. Culture. How exciting to see all these things built about all kinds of stories and people. I hope one day someone will tell a story about me somewhere. Vundahorn Antiques. Strictly no pets, gawkers, loiterers, fun, and definitely no children. Oh my. Well, I'm just here to help Grandpa. I'm sure they can make an exception. There are only more houses and villagers back that way, and they were all hiding from me. The sign just says tavern. Straight to the point, I suppose. Ah. Uh, it's a wanted post. I don't know what this is about. That's my friend, Ben. We'll find his home before all this is done, I'm sure of it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look, Anna. Look, I think I found people. I think you're right, Ben. Good work. Come on, let's go see them. Uh, yeah, but, um, I'm too young. I'm not allowed in places like that. Well, neither am I. But we need their help. Yeah, but... There's a strange man sleeping on the table. Why is he sleeping on the table, Anna? It's okay, Ben. Look, why don't you wait out here while I take a quick look inside? Okay, Anna, I can do that. Just be careful, okay? Uh, <clears throat> good evening, sirs. Hey, girl, is it me or... Hmm? Isn't she... you know? <sighs> hmm... Yeah, I thought so. How about that? Um... Sirs? Hello? Evening, little miss. What can I do you for? I'm... trying to find a wizard. I was told he lives here, in Vundahorn, see? Alright. Um, so do you know any? Any wizards? You do realize where you are, right? Um, yes? A tavern? Little miss, this village, this is a magic village. Really? Oh, wow. Ah, indeed. It's a dying practice, but there's still plenty of them lingering. You know, the magic folk. Witches, wizards, and the sort. Ugh. 
Ugh, not more witches. A girl your age, little miss. You'd best not be dealing with the likes of them. Stories of children been up and vanishing. Cries from the old mill. Oh no, that's terrible. Where did they go? What's this old mill? It's out the back of the village, near the bridge to the woods, but uh, not my business, little miss. I'll just clean my glass here and pay them no mind. Don't want no trouble now. Did you say you recognized me? When I came in, you seemed to know me. Aye, you heard rightly. But how is that possible? I mean, I'm from a faraway farm. I don't know anyone. That may be, but the royal seem to know you. You and the so-called bear man. Mm hmm. Aye, Gil says he's called that on account of his gruesome bear-like appearance. Says he stands ten feet tall, eats people whole. Best be careful of him out there, little miss. Ah, <laughs> Okay, but how do these royals even know anything about me? What do they want me for? Not my business, little miss. I'll just clean my glass here and pay them no mind. Don't want no trouble now. Well, if that's the case, then... I'll help find the children and the wizard. You're not really from around these parts, are you? No, sir. I've come a long way looking for this wizard. So kidnapping witch or not... Actually, I should probably be getting back to looking now, too. Thank you kindly for your help, sir. Mm. Oh, yes. Wait, little miss. If you want to know a good place to look for one, well, out in the square there, behind the big old church, there's an alleyway. Down there, that's where I see him coming and going sometimes. Uh, just be careful out there. Not usual for a girl to be out there alone. I would have want you vanishing like the rest of them now. You know, mister, I'm beginning to think you care more about others than you let on. Ah, no, no, no. Just, uh, cleaning my glass, minding my own. <laughs> Don't worry about me, sir. I have a feeling I'll be all right. There's two there. One for beer, and one for water. Somehow I think one gets used a lot more than the other. There's two there. One f They both- I'm guessing the bartender must see different people come in and out of here all day. I bet if there's anyone who knows a lot about the town, it's this guy. Such a grumpy looking fellow. I bet deep down he's just a big old softy, though. Mm. He doesn't seem to be a particularly chatty man. I think I'll leave him be. There's a... not very nice smell coming from there. I really don't think I want to know what it is cooking inside. I really don't. These little things are so hot, they're cooking the broth all by themselves. Oh, he looks so sad. For good reason, I guess. I've seen these before. They're family crests, to show what house you're from. The bartender here seems way too easy going to be a lion or a wolf, though. Aye, that'd be true enough, but don't want to take sides neither. Jeez, you're even impartial with making friends. Isn't that a bit of a hazard, having them over the door like that? <laughs> Maybe in his dream he's off on his own little quest. He doesn't seem to be a particular- No way! Ah, uh, I'd love to take him and set him free, but I think he's a bit beyond my help now. Ugh, no way. Oh no, they're much too hot to carry around with me. I should try something else. How are you going out here? I'm swell, thanks. This place is nice and light, and the lamps are warm, so I'm very well right here. <laughs> That's good to hear, Ben.
You going okay on your own here? Oh, yes. I'm just happy we're finally here. I've walked way too much. This town, though, I'm glad it has the cure, but... I think I know what you mean. We're definitely not wanted here by the villagers. Well, like it or not, this is where the cure is, and we're staying until we find it. Exactly. We only need to stay as long as it takes, and then we'll find our way home. Wherever that may be for you, too, we'll find it. I'll make sure of it. Okay, that sounds good. I was curious. Has any more details of what happened before Winfrieda's tower come back to you yet? No, not exactly. It's just that family portrait from Winfrieda's tower. I keep feeling like I know that girl. She's so familiar, but I just can't remember. Hmm. Well, if I find anything out about it, I'll let you know, okay? Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. All right. Guess I better get back out there. Okay. Good luck. Aw, all this hay has that kind of farm smell from home. It is exciting to see all these new things, but I miss Grandpa. A lot. <laughs> if something was hard to find, Grandpa always said, Oh, Anna, you may as well try and find a needle in a haystack. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually... Oh, hold on. Well, there you go. Not so hard to find them after all, Grandpa. It's for sewing. I had to teach myself on the farm since Grandpa isn't very good at it. I should head to the alley. Apparently that's where magic folk are mostly. I should head to the... This pipe. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems to be running to the tavern. The water supply there must be directly connected to this pump here. Hmm... That's an interesting idea. I could move the pipe so something else is supplied to the fountain. Only, there's nothing here to switch this pipe with. Maybe something inside the tavern, though. <laughs> that was fun. Back to finding the cure, I guess. They were all hiding away from Ben and I as we came in. I doubt they want to chat. Bah! Oh! Oh my! Hello there, child. H hello miss. I didn't mean to startle you. <gasps> that book! Where did you get it? Sorry? Oh, this magic book? Well, that's kind of... I must have it! Um, can I have it? Please? I... I'm not sure. I did go through a lot to get it. You're all alone out here? A child? Alone? In a dark alleyway? Well, I'm looking for someone. Perhaps you know him? A wizard of some sort? Uh... No, I do not know anything about the wizard's secret magic shop. Huh? Wait, the wizard's shop? That door you just came through. What was that? Oh, uh... Uh... Curses! Vested by a child. This is why I do not like children. Um... Pardon? Perhaps I do know something about a secret wizard's shop. Perhaps.
perhaps. What of it? Really? Oh, please, miss. Could you show me where it is? Mm, okay. The price is one magic book. Oh. Uh, well, you promise you won't do anything bad with it, right? <laughs> yes, yes, whatever you say. <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> hey, w wait a second. Oh, ah, yes. Anybody home? Who goes there? Oh, uh, hello. My name is Anna. Sir? Ah, uh, Anna. Dear child of the West. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, I... I'm sorry. I... I thought this was the wizard's house. Ah, uh, but it is, Anna. It is. The sorceress's house, to be more exact. Pleased to meet you, young lady. I've been waiting for you. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Pleased to meet you, too. So you... you know about my grandpa, then? Of course, dear, of course. Please, take a seat. I can't believe I finally found you. I don't even know where to start. Do you have a cure for my grandpa? How do I save him? I'll do anything. Patience, dear, relax. We have time. He is gravely ill, it is true. But it is a special kind of illness. And a special illness, you see, deserves a special spell. What do you mean, a special kind of illness? Your grandpa, he is cursed. A very dark and powerful curse at that. No, Grandpa. But you must know, for such a spell, there are great and powerful objects needed. Objects I do not possess. Whatever they are, I'll get them. Grandpa, he... he's all I have. Sadly, they are, how do you say, protected. Protected? <laughs> yes, that is what I said. Child. Didn't this grandpa of yours tell you not to interrupt people all the damn time? Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Hmm, well, as I was saying, there are three sacred objects that I need to complete the cure. But taking them from their owners is another matter. Do you know how my grandpa is doing? Can you tell me? I've been in the woods for some time now, looking for Vundahorn. So I just... I just want to know if he's still okay. I can tell you this much. He's not getting any better while you sit here chatting away. Oh, n no I guess not. Okay, so what are these sacred objects? Where should I look for them? The first is an orb of great power, the Amber Orb. Merely possessing it grants the user exponential magical power, enough even to break the curse. It can be found in the woods beyond the mill, in the depths of a lake protected by the Weisse Frauen, ghastly spirits that haunt the waters, tricksters of the very worst kind. Whatever you do, child, do not enter those waters. Oh my. So... How shall I get the orb, then? You will find a way, I'm sure. If you want to save your grandpa, you will have to. Yes. Yes, I will. I will find a way. And the second object? An enchanted rose from the tops of Glass Mountain. This is the heart of the cure. The soul of the spell's essence, if you will. 
At its peak is housed a nasty outcast of this world. A bitter, twisted old fool that has embraced his seclusion. Ask for the Rose and the Rose alone. He guards many protected objects, but that he might part with. Oh, I see. All right, so Glass Mountain. The tale goes that a dragon once gave passage to those that were worthy. You should speak to the minister at the church. He would know more on the legend. Wow, a dragon! All right, the minister at the church. And the final object? Fortunately, this is quite a great deal easier. In fact, I do believe you have it already. Really? Let me see. Um... Don't be dull. The spellbook child from Winfrieda's tower. Oh! Uh... Oh... What? What is it? You do have it, don't you? Well, I did, but... But... An old lady took it from me. Just outside. One of the most powerful spellbooks in all the land, and you gave it away. Well, not like that. I mean, she was nice about it, and seemed like a nice little old... Never mind. You must find it regardless. It contains the chance for the spell and is absolutely vital. Uh, all right. I will. I'm sorry. Don't apologize, child. Just get it back. I best get looking for these objects, then. Thank you so much, miss... Um... Gee, I'm sorry. I think I forgot your name. I never said it. The objects aren't finding themselves, you know. Oh, yes, okay. I'm sorry. Hmm. <clears throat> Children. That sheet looks pretty old. I think it's been left hanging there for quite a while. It's too far away. I can't reach. That sheet looks pretty old. And, well, it did get rather cold on that long trip here. I could use a sheet going home. Mm. Uh... Oops, Daisy. Guess I still need a little more practice with this. Uh, oop. Quite a long, sturdy piece of rope. Always useful. Oh, nice idea. But the clothesline is too thick to be used as thread. It's been so long, if I'm going to give him something to eat, I should look for something dry and flammable. Uh... Uh... No, I'll pass. I looked at more than enough gross things in Winfrieda's tower. Blech. No thanks. It's quite an old and intricate looking thing. Seems like it's as old as the church. Ah, look at that! A cute little dragon on top. Just like in the church window. It's quite... I really do love these. They're just so big and detailed and just lovely. I really do... That won't work. Hmm... Ben? Oh, hello again. I found a magician. Well, sorceress. I found her, and she can make the cure. But it's... complicated. Apparently it's not a sickness. It's a curse. A curse? Oh dear, who would do that to your grandpa? Winfrieda? No, 
Maybe. I don't know. But I'll need some time to find all the things needed to break it. Of course, of course. Take as long as you need. Do you really think Winfrieda is the one who made my grandpa ill? Why would she hurt grandpa though? Unless... Unless she wanted me to leave the farm. If somehow she knew I had this power... Uh-huh. She would want you to leave so she could kidnap you. I think you're onto something here. But why not just come into the farm? Why not just kidnap me there? Hmm. All right. Guess I better get back out there. Okay. Good luck. Hello again, sir. Evening again, little miss. You found that wizard friend of yours? I did. He... Well, she was in the alley after all, so thank you. Aye. Well, now you see, now I need to find a lake behind the mill somewhere. The mill is straight behind this here tavern, and then past that is them there woods. Great. Okay then, thanks once again. <sighs> um, sorry? He says to hold on, little miss, not so hasty. Really? All of that? Do you really hear what he's saying? Because to me... Aye, those there woods, protected by old magic they are. Folks going out there, they need themselves a good guide, see? The blacksmith, he's one, but he's been away a while now. And then there's this fellow Gil, wetting his lips here. Oh, I see. Then, hello there, sir. <laughs> Working hours are up for Gil today, though. And now he's started at the bar. Well, so long as there's beer for him, he ain't going nowhere. But this is a tavern. You must have a lifetime of beer. Aye. Mm. Ugh. There's two there. They both... That wouldn't be useful, I think. Welcome, young traveler. The stars be upon you. He's a cheerful looking old chap. It's a bunch of people looking a bit... crazy. They're all fighting each other. Hmm... It looks quite calm. There's some important looking people in the middle. And everyone around them is just watching them, like they are in awe. Such a serious looking man! Just sitting there, writing with his quill, being serious. Hmm, I don't like this one. The girl looks so scared. She's reaching to this lady, but the lady is just looking away and ignoring her. It's a big old beautiful church organ. It must play amazing music. Well, it would if you knew how to play, which I don't. It's sealed shut. Very thick and heavy looking, too. I wonder how it's opened. Hi there. Uh, your... Grace? Sir? Your Holiness? Oh, dear child. No, no, please. Theodore will suffice. I'm sorry. It's my first time in a church. But it's nice to meet you, Theodore. My name's Anna. And a pleasure to meet you, too, young one. Your church is very beautiful, Theodore. <laughs> Indeed it is. But, alas, it isn't mine. I'm simply looking after it, so to speak. And caring for all the people who come seeking the Red Dragon's protection. Oh, the dragon. I was told about a dragon that could fly people to the Glass Mountains. Ah, yes, that she could. However, it's now all so difficult to know. 
Anyone who greeted her as she sat atop the bell tower would be granted free passage throughout the land. Some say knowledge of the dragon has been lost to time. Others say that it's all but a myth. I simply stay here to carry on what she stood for and represented. That is important, with or without her. Big windows at the back are so, so pretty. I love them. Oh yes, they really are remarkable, aren't they? I'm constantly in awe of their beauty. They commemorate the Red Dragon's work in chasing away the Lord of Dark. Oh wow, I would never have imagined something like that really happening. Do all these paintings around the room tell a story to them? Indeed they do. They tell their own story about Wunderhorn's days of magic. Ooh, could you tell it to me? By all means, I'd be glad to. Where would you like me to start? Can you tell me about the sad-looking painting on the right? Yes, uh, a sad painting indeed. A woman banishing a child for an unforgivable sin. The woman was said to be a great witch of Wunderhorn, and the girl, her very own daughter. Little is known of it, but the painting is said to have been made by a mute child who witnessed the tragic scene. Jeez, this is too sad. Let's talk about something else. Who is the man in the portrait over there? Philip Vogt, a direct descendant of the Great Witches and a crucial part of Wunderhorn's history. It was Philip who created the most powerful of spells. He summoned a dragon to banish the dark. It is said he built a shrine deep within a glade in Wunderhorn's woods in order to cast it there. This spell was of such power, it cost him his own life. As he summoned the Red Dragon, he perished to save us all. Oh, wow. What a brave, selfless man. A shrine deep in Fundahorn's woods, huh? I wonder if I'm able to find that at all. Wait a second. I know where I've seen him before. I have a picture of him. Here, see? It looks just like him, don't you think? By the stars. I think you're right, young one. Where did you find this? Uh... It's a long story, but I found it in the witch's house. Hmm, how curious. And the girl here, it must be... It's Philip's daughter, Queen Yannicke. This girl is the queen? We don't really know much about kings and queens out on my farm. Indeed it is her, as a child, of course. Sadly, though, about a year ago, she just vanished. No one knows how or why. Yet another somber, unsolved mystery, I'm afraid. What about this serene painting? It looks rather pleasant. Ah, yes, the second painting. This was a momentous time when the first witches of Wunderhorn rose to power. By their demonstrations of benign sorcery, they contained evil and brought peace and order. Can you tell me about the busy-looking painting over there on the left? This was in the days before magic, when darkness and chaos ruled the land. Great powers were at odds. None could maintain order. You say the dragon stood for something important? Very much so. Her very presence drove the shadows from the land. You see... Her scales were the red fire to light the way, and in turn, she protected us from the dark. But my grandpa told me there's nothing to be scared of in the dark. One time I was scared, but then grandpa laughed because it was just a tree branch scraping on my window. <laughs> yes, it is true. Often the dark is nothing but a trickster. Unfortunately, the Lord of Dark revels in such tricks. The... 
L Lord of Dark? Oh yes, Mephistopheles. He's known for his many names and many guises. But be not afraid, for thanks to the Red Dragon, we're all safe. Her presence forced him deep into the earth, you see. His trickery contained. Did you say the dragon would fly people from the bell tower? Where's that? I, yes, it's right through the door behind you. Alas, for many generations now, the door has been sealed shut. For years I've looked for a means to open it, but for years it has remained closed. This place was built entirely for the love of the Red Dragon. I'm sure many answers lie here somewhere before our eyes. I'm but an old man, not a detective. Any such indications have managed to elude me. Ooh, a detective mystery. That sounds kind of fun. Maybe I can have a look around for clues. <laughs> but of course. Be my guest, young one. Thanks for your help, Theodore. I best get going. Of course, young one. The stars be with you. Mm. Hmm. Seems this door's a bit more sturdier than the ones I've broken before. I walk down that trail, I'll be heading back home to cure Grandpa. Reynard should be in there somewhere. I should say hello. Evening once again, dear girl. And to what do I owe this pleasure? About Ben's disguise. It seems a little odd to me. There are many situations for which there are many solutions. It is only a matter of being prepared, is it not? I suppose so. What kind of situations could a fox possibly have? Oh, <laughs> my dear, you have no idea. Truly, it is a wonder how I manage. I've learned to adapt, you see. Adapting is key, my dear. You do well to know it. I should probably get going now. Very well, my dear. I'll be seeing you soon enough, I'm sure. Strange thing to say. I wonder what makes him so sure of that. That's Wunderhorn. It's just like the mirror said. Somewhere in here lies the cure. We're nearly there, Grandpa. Just a little longer now. Hello? Huh? I just said hello. Uh, I've got- Oh. Okay then. Hmm. I believe the lever there- Hmm. That's an interesting- Only, there's nothing here to switch this pipe with. Wouldn't be useful, I think. Mm. Aha! I'm getting good at this. All that practice is really paying off now. No, that didn't. I'm sorry, Mr. Bartender. But desperate times call for desperate measures. I'll just quickly put these back the way they were. 
Um, uh, I don't know how to break this to you, Gil, so I'm just gonna say it. There's no more beer left. <laughs> Yay, no more beer. <sighs> well, guess we'll just have to get going to the lake now, huh? <sighs> <laughs> All right, listen carefully. Only saying this once. Lake, straight down that way. Murderous thieves live that way to the north. But don't go there. They're murderous. Hence, murderous thieves. Back the way we came to get back to the village. Questions? <laughs> well, just to be sure, I... Good. No questions, then. Bye. In case I forget how to get back... Uh, never mind. Guess I'll figure it out. Hopefully. They are all long and thin and stringy, like spaghetti. This looks like a great old tree stump. Not much to see with him sitting on it, really. Excuse me, sir? Oh, hello there. You shouldn't be out here, you know. This is a dangerous place. So everyone keeps telling me. Are... are you okay? Why are you out here all alone and sad, mister? <sighs> I'm hunting the beast that's terrorizing the village. Can't you tell? This seems like a pretty nice place with nice things. Are you sure it's around here? Uh, uh, of course I'm sure. I'm a master huntsman, don't you know? I know these woods like the back of my hand. I just... I'm... Uh, Tracking his uh, uh, trail, his scent and such, or something. Okay, if you say so, mister. Can you tell me more about this beast? I don't know if I can, but maybe I can help somehow? Oh, that's very sweet of you, kid. But no, this is much too dangerous for you. But, but maybe if you just tell me... No means no, kid. <sighs> You're just like her, you know. You're just like my own girl. You kids are a stubborn lot. Well, best let you get back to, uh, whatever it is you're doing. Oh, yes. Focusing my, um, traditional tracking technique. Or something. Oh, I hate seeing people looking so sad. I hope I can help him somehow. There's a sloppy painting of a skull on the sign. I think it's meant to be a kind of... warning. Taking the sign down isn't going to suddenly make it less dangerous. Ah, uh, no, I'll pass. I looked at more than enough gross things in Winfrieda's tower. For chopping firewood. Chop, chop, chop. I love doing that back home. This kind of looks menacing here, though. What a creepy old thing. Out here in the dark? Yikes. No, that looks much too sharp and dangerous for me to carry about. Blech. No thanks. All right. Thieves or not, it's time someone talked to this bunch. Uh, who, who's that? 
Oh no, he's not the boy ghost, is it? Geez, will you listen to you two? Bunch of no good. See, just a measly little brat. Hey, I'm not a brat. I don't think. What do you want, huh? What you doing out here? Okay, now, my grandpa always told me that stealing is... Wait, wait, wait. Your grandpa? What is this? You even know where you are right now, huh? Do you? Uh, house that you and your friends have, uh, occupied and... I'm stopping you there, yeah? You best turn back. Turn back, little girl. This, this is a murderer's house you're trying to enter here. I'm warning you now. You turn and walk away, and that will be the last of it. Now beat it! Oof. How rude. They think they can just bully everyone to get their own way. Scare them away all the time. Well, not if I can help it. I think two can play at that game. Did I tell you guys the one about the witch boy you drowned in the lake? For chopping firewood. I love... Ah, it's only all you ever talk about. Blah. Well, I don't like that no. one. <laughs> Scary. Mm, no. I, I don't think my power will... I don't want to be too reckless with this power. That's the point, you doofus. The silly ghost stories to scare you. It's no silly story, though. It is the truth. It really happened. There was that old witch school right near here somewhere. And that lake all filled with those... those things. He went in a live and happy boy, but then... then he come out a white and glowing ghost! His bright ghostly eyes roaming these here trees, weaving through looking for revenge he is. Mm, that's not true. It's not true, is it? Ah, the boy drowned all right, but there ain't no glowing white-eyed ghost here. Now shut your yaps before I shut them for you, you hear? Just... just saying. When we least expect, like, maybe he'll... No! Oh! Shut it! Now, the two of you! Right, right boss. For boss. Stuck on tight. Tough little things they are. I should try using my power. They're all long and thread like. Quite strong, too. Oh, yes. This would make for great sewing thread. for sewing. I had to teach my... All fixed. Those days of practicing my sewing really paid off. Nope. I... Nope. I need to be careful you... All fixed. Those days of... I don't think these two really go... Peculiar that the girl would have this place revisited. It has taken some years, but things are now becoming quite entertaining. 
Oh, hello there, young one. Uh, h hello, mister. Say, you don't suppose you could help an old man, could you? Oh, well, sure. What can I help you with? Oh, <laughs> you really are quite unlike her. Never mind, that will do. I must be off. For now, I sense the Dragon's Guard won't be down much longer, you see. Till next time, Anna. What? What, what was that all about? And how did he know my name? Uh, h hello? Vice of Rowan? Is, is that you? So young. So young. Oh, hi. I don't mean to bother you, I just... I'm looking for... uh... something. Closer. Come closer. So young. So hungry. Closer. Uh... uh... No, I'm okay where I am, thanks. Oh dear. Uh... Hi, there. Welcome, youngling. Welcome. Come. Closer. Be not afraid, youngling. We will help you. Yes. Help. Come closer. Closer. Y yes You will help me. Yes. Help. With the... Amber Orb. Come with us. Come. Under the water. Join us. It will all be yours, youngling. Young. So young. So much life. No! Stop! P please stop! What? What? Who? Who's there? Alright? I'm sorry, I don't mean to scare you or, or anything. No, 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 don't be sorry. Hans, you... you saved me. Thank you. Oh, I'm no hero, really. These cursed creatures. I fell prey to them, but they won't take any more life as long as I'm here. Uh, but you, you, you're not uh, scared of me. Oh, no, no. You could say I'm a little used to ghosts now. You guys are harmless. Yes, exactly. Oh, it's so nice to finally meet someone who doesn't run into the woods screaming. Um... Anna, nice to meet you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for not running away. Do you mind me asking how you, uh... It's all right, Anna. You can say it. How I became a ghost? It was so long ago. As days upon days upon days go by, I realize that I start to forget. Oh, is there much you do still remember? Yes, I remember the Amber Orb. I came here looking for it. I knew it would be dangerous, I knew. But I desperately needed to find it anyway. The Amber Orb, that's what I've come for too. The Vice of Frauen treasure it, they need it. They'll never part with it. It lures people here just like you and me, and they come, the treasure hunters, witches, lots of them. They have all failed. They either run away or go into the water forever.
If I don't get the orb, though, Hans, my grandpa, he'll... he'll... I don't know why, but someone cursed him, and I have to get the orb to make a cure. You're very brave, Anna, and so kind to come to a place like this. I... wait, I remember now. I came here for someone, too. I don't know who anymore. But I know that yearning. I... I feel it. The need to help someone, no matter how high the cost. Is there really nothing I can do? This might be a long shot, but the vice of Frauen, there's something that changes them. Yes, anything. Whatever it is, I'll try. They sing. A lot. They're different around music. And once, not so long ago, a band of musicians traveled through. I remember. The vice of Frauen, they were stunned. So silent and reverent. Music? Well, I can sing. I could sing for them? No, not music of that sort. Others have whistled, hummed, and sung in these parts, and it's not been the same. It was something specific. Something... something wooden. With strings. I see it, but I don't recall its name anymore. I'm sorry, Anna. Hans, you've been so helpful. You have nothing to be sorry for. Are there details about your past you do still remember, then? Well, yes. Quite a lot, I think. I know I lived here, in these woods. It was a different place then, so long ago. There were other kids, too. We were all... We had no homes to go to. We were... alone. But there was a... a school. A boarding school that took us all in. If Fundahorn used to be a magic village, then... was it a magic school? Wait, I... I think you're right. Yes, yes, that's exactly what it was. The Volt School of Magic. I remember now. That name, Volt. I keep hearing about this school. It was the headmaster's name. No, wait. The headmistress's. And I... I remember being sort of... alone there. I remember the kids playing, but... always without me. But there was one person, a girl. She, she was my best friend. We were so close, I remember. But her name, I don't. She was the headmistress's daughter, but, but I, I don't. <sighs> That's it. That's all I remember. You've done really well, Hans. You should be proud. You've remembered so much. I have. I really have. And it's all thanks to you, Anna. <laughs> You're very welcome. I'm happy I could help. Some ghosts I met before, they were kind of trapped. Is that the same for you, too? I can't seem to leave the lake, but I don't mind. There's something I don't want to leave here. You mean the amber orb? Not exactly. No, it's a friend, I think. Someone who meant a lot to me. All I know is that I meant to help them, and I can't leave until I finish what I started. That's so sweet, Hans. If you can remember them, who knows? Maybe I can help?
Do you mind telling me again? The Vogt School of Magic. It was the headmaster's name. And I... But we were so close, I remember. But I... It was really nice to see you, but I should get going now. Of course. And nice to see you too, Anna. You know where to find me if you need me again. I'm pretty sure that's Hans, or at least, used to be his. The water seems so calm, but just beneath, the Weissefrauen are lurking. So still and serene, kind of peaceful actually. I'd say it's a rather pretty place, if I didn't know what lurked just beneath the surface. Seems like a dangerous kind of idea. I don't want them putting me in a trance like that again. A big old beautiful watermill. It seems very quiet. I'm not sure anyone's home right now. A hatched door, probably to a dusty old empty basement. Although, judging by the bartender's story, I hope it's nothing more sinister than that. Anybody home? It seems very quiet. I'm not sure anyone's home right now. Locked. I should try the civil approach and knock on the front door. Door. Judging by the bar, I should try the civil. I should try the civil. Hi, Ben. Oh, the family portrait. I know who it is. Really? Yep. I showed it to the minister in the church because he knows all about magic and stuff. That's Philip and his daughter Yannicka, who went on to become queen. Queen? Oh, right. But now, now Yannicka is missing and no one knows why. So I've been thinking, when Frida, she must have been involved in it somehow. Are you okay? You seem a bit troubled. Well, it's just when I thought I recognized them. I guess it's probably not because I knew her. It's because everyone knew her. Oh, yes, I see. I, 
I'm sorry. Don't worry, Ben. You'll remember more sooner or later. I'm sure of it. All right. Guess I better get back out there. Okay. Good luck. Uh, hello. Oh, goody. A little girl. Did you not read the sign? No, of course you didn't. <gasps> Look at that music box. That's not just a music box. That's an heirloom of the great Viennese dancer. <gasps> Look at that puppy. Oh, that's so cute. <sighs> really, is it any wonder I don't like kids in here? That, my dear child, is the exquisite craftsmanship of the late Madame. <gasps> Look at that monkey! Yeah! Uh. He's playing cymbals! Oh my gosh! So, so cute! Your store has so many cute things, mister! Hmm, yes, whatever you say. You don't seem to be leaving, so... Go ahead, look around. Then be off with you! You can't afford anything anyway. Excuse me, mister. How much is this? Much too much. Like everything else in here. Hmm. That's not very helpful. Ding! I think it's for getting the shopkeeper's attention. Like this. Ding! Arr! Oh, these are really quite lovely. Such pretty details and artwork. Such odd, dusty, dirty clothes. Must be a strange kind of fellow to wear something like that. He's playing cymbals. Oh, this looks particularly special. So shiny and detailed and pretty. There's an engraving on it that says it's a magical violin. Enchanted to play the most sweetest music, no matter how inexperienced the player. Oh. And as a result, the single most valuable, expensive, and unaffordable item in this shop. Oh. Ooh, what an interesting assortment of things. A necklace, a spinning top, a train. Ooh, what... Ooh, it's like a magician's hat. I wonder if there's any rabbits in there. Excuse me, Mr. Much too... Hmm. Aw, he is a cute one, but also a little crazy looking. Aw, I always wanted to see a clown. This hat looks a bit rough, too. Must have been a clown that traveled a lot. I'm not sure I've seen such a sour looking man before. Mm. Excuse me, sir. Do you? Nope. But I... Please, no more talking. Just be done with your looking and leave me be. Oh, okay then. I think this is quite valuable. I should be careful how I use it. What can I get with this? Th that's... God, where did you... <clears throat> I, I mean, oh, uh, a shiny rock. No, silly. It's a diamond. These are meant to be worth a bit. Aren't they? Oh, yes, how silly of me. I'm not so sure they're worth that much, really. Enough for that pretty violin, maybe? Ha! <laughs> Good grief, no. No, I think this is more in the range of... That lantern, over there on the ground. That's about all this can buy. Oh, that's it? Nothing else? At all? Take it or leave it, my final offer. Well, I guess it is more useful than a little stone. All right, it's a deal. <laughs> hey, wait a second. This is broken. It's an antique, you little brat. What do you expect? Nothing lasts forever. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's fair enough. 
Thank you for the trade, mister. Mm, just get out of here. Um, excuse me. Greetings again, Kamana. What is it you interrupt the great Van Betoriki with now? Roostwick, what would you say if I told you I'd found the perfect audience for you? And that's right by the cabin you like. Roostwick, they'd love to hear you play. The lake? <laughs> Surely you jest. That is miles away. I'll tell you what. Get me my home back for me, and I'll be sure to play for your peasant friends. All right. I better let you all get back to what you're doing. I best get look Um, yes Okay I'm not sure lantern oil is particularly healthy for dragons. If I'm going to give him something to eat... Mm. Uh, I hope you don't mind me asking, but is... Is your father the one who disappeared? You... you know where my papa is? I do! I found him! Where? Where is he? Please tell me! He's... well... he's in the woods still. But he's okay, isn't he? He's not hurt, right? No, no, he's fine. He's perfectly okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's such a relief. Thank you, uh... I'm Anna, and I'm glad I could help. You really did. I was sure he was lost for good this time. Silly, silly Papa. The name's Ashley, by the way. Pleased to meet ya. Lost? But... He's a master huntsman. I thought he knew the woods like the back of his hand. He, uh, likes to stretch the truth just a little. Don't tell anyone this. Especially not my Papa, but... He's not really a master hunter at all. It's that silly beast, the one that's been stealing all the food. He can't let it go. He won't. He promised everyone in the village he would help them. As long as that beast remains in the woods, so will Papa. Can you tell me more about this beast? It's... stealing food? Yep, the village's fruit. We're a fruitless village. That... doesn't sound very beast-like at all. But it's eating all of it. The vendor who usually collects the fruit, he's terrified of it. A ferocious wild creature, he says. Gnashing teeth and long, razor-sharp claws. Oh my, that does sound rather beastly. Uh-huh, and that's what my poor papa is out there trying to find. How does your father normally find his way out of the woods, then? Usually I just get Gil from the tavern to help me find him. Then I just growl and make noises so he chases me and I lead him back here. But Ashley... he... he's hunting the beast! Oh, uh, hmm, well... good thing he's a terrible huntsman! Anyway, he caught on to me. He figured it out, so... now I guess it's the beast or nothing. I was wondering, this lantern, is there any way you can make it work again? Oh, are you kidding me? Piece of cake! 
Ah, only without Papa here, I'm kind of crazy busy right now. I'll let you get back to work, Ashley. Be careful out there, okay? If that beast is out there... Hi, Ben. Oh. All right. Okay. It's a beautiful lantern. Only thing is, it's broken. Somehow I think I got a little ripped off on this deal. Aww. I hate seeing people looking so sad. I hope I can help him somehow. Uh, excuse me, sir. Huh? Are... are you okay? <sighs> no. It's too late. Too late. If you had any sense about you, girl, you'd leave this cursed village. Aw, sir? Is everything okay? Leave me be. Can a man just drink away his woes in peace? Oh dear. I... I'm sorry, sir. Sir? Is everything... Leave me be, girl. Can a man... Oh dear. Do you know why this man is so sad? Ah, Gottfried. Best leave him be. The man's in grieving. It's his youngin', see? Like I says before, children up been vanishing. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. We have to do something. Haven't you tried to... Wait, don't tell me. Aye. Head down, mind of my own. Ugh. Hey, so... Gil looks kinda like he needs another drink there. Gil will make sure I know when he needs another. Alright, thank you, mister. Aye, that's true. Grandpa told me that beer is really bad for you. He told me it damages your brain and makes you angry, irate, and disgruntled. Hmm. <sighs> I guess Grandpa was right. Oh no, they're much too hot. Oh yes, these look perfect for you, little guy. <laughs> Must be nice to have some dragon-friendly food after all those berries. He's such a cute little guy, so cute. They were all... There are only more houses and villagers back that way. And they were all hiding from me. I should try the civil approach and... Are you in there? Somewhere? Hi again, Anna. Thanks for visiting me. It was really not Of course.
Excuse me, sir? Oh. Hello there. Can you tell me? I don't know if I can. Oh. That. But. No means no. You're just like my own girl. Well, that's. Oh, yes. Folk. I'm not about to damage such a beautiful place like this. Taking the sun. All fixed. Those days are. Oh, only the sheet is missing something. Oh, and make a kind of fake ghost costume thing. The themes were talking about ghost stories. That might not be a bad idea. Hmm. It's still missing something, though. There are some more details the thieves mentioned. I should go listen again. No, having fire isn't this lantern's problem. It needs proper fixing up first. Did I tell you guys the one about the witch boy you drowned in the lake? Ah, it's only all you ever talk about. Oh, I don't like that one. <laughs> Scary. That's the point, you doofus. The silly ghost stories to scare you. This ain't no silly story, though. It's just the truth. It really happened. There was that old witch school, right near here somewhere. And that lake, all filled with those, those things. He went in alive and happy boy, but then, then he come out a white and glowing ghost. His bright ghostly eyes roaming these here trees, weaving through, looking for revenge he is. <laughs> That's not true. It's not true. What? Ah. Uh... Ah, the boy drowned all right, but there ain't no glowing white-eyed ghost here. Now shut your gas before I set nope. for you, you doesn't hear? work. Nah. Just... Just saying. When we least expect, like, maybe he'll... No! Oh! Shut it, now! Evening one into a door. This beast of the woods the villagers speak of. This fruit stealing beast. Hmm? It's you, isn't it, Reynard? And what, pray tell, brings you to such a conclusion? Well, uh, you like fruit, and you are kind of like a beast. I mean, the descriptions are completely wrong, really. Hey! You haven't got any razor claws or teeth, and you're quite cute and small and fluffy. All right. Yes, yes, enough. It's true. I lack beastly qualities. But you are quite right. The beast is the title I have been given, and one I must abide by. So you like being a beast, then? But they're scared of you, Reynard. Terrified. 
Precisely. Adapt to survive. And adapt I have. Once I thought to find assistance in picking fruit, cautiously leading villagers through the woods. But then they take all and share none. What option do I have but to adapt once again? But... They say that you've been taking all the fruit, Reynard. That's not fair. My dear, men have a predictable tendency to exaggerate. Oh, I see. I'm sorry for judging, Reynard. You really are a very clever little guy, you know that? You flatter, my dear. But you and I, we are not so very different in that regard. Reynard, I think I know a way you can help me. You said before that you could lead villagers to the fruit, right? And the blacksmith, well, he needs to be led home, right? I'm not sure I'm particularly comfortable with the direction this is going. Oh, please, Reynard. That poor blacksmith. He's only trying to help the village. My dear, I appreciate your sentiments, but you're asking me to give up my orchestrated food supply. Well, you... you can come back to my farm. We have plenty of food to share there, but, well, you know, if you think there's someone else who's clever enough to escape one little huntsman, then... All right, all right, I concede you win. I care not for acquiescing on terms of pride, but I respect your tactics. Oh, thank you, Reynard. I really appreciate it. <sighs> of course, my dear. And with that, I suppose I might as well be off. Ashley, we're already right back on track with work, if there's anything you need. I was wondering, this lantern, is there any way you can make it work again? Ha! Oh, you kidding me? Piece of cake! One second. <laughs> done and done. Oh wow, that really was quick. Thank you so much. I'll let you get back to work, Ashley. The sign says Blackley's blacksmith. Bits, bobs, or broke. Ashley's done all she can with it. It looks as good as new. Ah, yes. A ghost with glowing eyes, like in the thieves' story. That's pretty convincing, really. It'd sure scare me if I saw it floating around the woods. Quite a long, sturdy piece of rope. Always useful. Hmm, I... Th That's pretty convincing. to damn it. Wait, you don't think... This couldn't be the grove Theodore talked about, could it? If it is, if this is where Philip summoned the dragon, then there must be a clue. What have we here? How neat! It's like the patterns are burnt right into the wood there. This must be the shrine, it must be. But... What does it mean? So mystical and mysterious. Time to finally give these guys a taste of their own medicine. Hear that? Ah, uh, hear what? Oh! The dead! Oh, I said I did. You, 
You don't think. First you lot are shaking and stamming over a little kid, and now some wind? Useless. Really, the both of you. There's nothing here but... 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 Uh. <laughs> what is it? Is it? It's that... It's that... It's that... It's that... It's that... It's Let's see if we can find some more deserving tenants now. What a creepy old thing. Out here in For chopping firewood. I love... Excuse me. Greetings again, Kamana. Roostwick, I did it. I found a place for all of you to stay. By Jove, you don't mean it. I do mean it. Come on, I'll show you. So, what do you guys think? Hmm, quaint, quiet, tranquil even. It is no Schloss Saint Souci, but perhaps I shall lower my expectations in this instance. Yes, perhaps. Very well. You have helped the great Rustvik van Betoriki to retire in peace. For that, you have my sincerest gratitude. Thank you, my dear. You are most welcome, Rustwig. I'm glad I could help. Now, if you'll excuse me. Aren't happy endings so nice? Hey, wait! Hold on a second. He didn't hold up to his end of the deal. Uh, no. Blech. Oh, it's you. Again? Sorry to bother you, Roostwig. I was just wondering. Do you think you could help me with one last performance? The Vice of Fallon. Come enough. You must understand. Retired means retired. Finished. The end. I know, I understand. Really, I do. It's just... Well, my grandpa is sick and... Please, please, spare me your tales of woe. I've heard it all. Mr. Roostwig, I did help you, remember? It would mean so much to me. <sighs> Very well. Here. I have no more use of it. If you so desperately need to hear the violin, well, I suggest you get practicing. Oh, well, I could give it a shot, I guess. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, I guess that's something, right? Roostwig gave it to me. It's like a collector's item, probably all it's good for, since I have no idea how to play. I'm not about... How neat! This must be the... So miss... help me play any better. Nope. But I... Ple oh. I what can I get with this? Nothing. 
but this is from the great Roostwig von Beitereke. Who? One of the greatest musicians in the land. Or, at least that's what he says. I've never heard of him. Excuse me, Miss. Much too. Hmm. What exactly are you doing? I just thought. No. That is the most. I and as a result. The so. That's a no to trying? Not even for a budding young musician like me? A very large and. I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> mm. looks particularly special. So shiny and detailed and pretty. Hold it. Hmm. Mm, just get out of here. <laughs> Okay. No. I need this later. Okay, let's see here. Amber ore? As a reward? Yes. Our treasure. Our most beloved possession. Guard. We must guard, but we must reward. The amber orb. Yes. We will get the reward. Ah, oh, shucks. Well, to be completely honest, I kind of cheated. Never mind that. You broke their hold over the Amber Orb. After all these years. It's... it's unbelievable. Well, I couldn't have done it without your help, Hans. If there's anything I can do for you, something to help your spirit rest... It's... It's strange, but I feel like... like you're already helping me. No. No, not me. It's actually an old friend. Oh, is that so? Well, that's good then, I think. It is. I feel... at peace now. The reason I came here to this lake. It's so long ago, though. I just remember her reaching to me. She's so sad. It was me. 
I, I made her sad. Oh, Anna, it was a mistake. Such a terrible mistake. I, I should never have come here. Hans. But what you're doing, I can't explain it, but it's helping my friend. I know it is. Then let's get this spell done. For Grandpa, and for her. Thank you. For everything, Anna. Thank you. Goodbye, Hans. I hope you're at peace now, wherever you are. Sir! Uh... Oh, dear. Have you or have you not seen either of these two? Um... No... No. I have seen no such... Um... Deviants? Deviants indeed, sir. Of the highest order. Well, second highest. Who... Ahem... <clears throat> uh... Might a gentleman... Who's not at all involved, uh, inquire as to what they have done. I cannot say, good citizen, but the order comes direct from the queen herself. Well, queen to be. Bob, what have I told you about this? Once again, we're in the middle of an interrogation, and yet it's all about Bob, isn't it? Well, yes, you're right. It's not always about Bob. I'm sorry, sir. <sighs> it's quite all right, Bob. It's been a hard run today. Would say we put our tensions aside and sample some of this fine establishment's offerings. What say you, good citizen? You will join us, won't you? Oh, uh, but sirs, I I'm not allowed to go in there. Nonsense! A man with a fine mustache is yours? Ha! <laughs> what pish posh! Come along now, it's in order. Eh. Uh... And just like that, the Weissefrauen went down and brought the orb up to me personally. Thrilling. You have the orb anyway, that's all that matters. Well, yes, but you know that's quite a story, isn't it? Yes, nothing beats a child prattling on while people lay cursed and waiting. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm sorry. That is but one item, child. Don't get too excited. There's still a ways to go. I best get looking for these objects, then. Um, yes. Okay. I'll see you soon, then, with the objects. Okay, then. Oh, he could certainly light the lamp for me, but I don't see a reason to do that at the moment. Hmm. Ben, I didn't know. Oh. And then the cowering thief turned and said, Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Uh, no. No, he said neither of those things. Whose story is this, anyhow? Hold on. Hold on. You two know each other? Hi, Anne. Uh, an innocent friend of mine, who isn't Anna the Wanted Girl. Ah, y yes Hello, mister. Who is a normal friend of mine and not a bear. You know, there is a young girl wanted in the area that looks just like you. Oh, like m me? B but I'm just a completely innocent girl. <laughs> An innocent, not guilty girl, you say? Say, you haven't seen a girl that actually is guilty then, have you? We can't find the lass anywhere. About the same age, has a bear fellow for a friend. Quite hard to miss, I'd imagine. Oh, yes, yes, I'd imagine so too. No, definitely no bear friends. <laughs> a friend for a bear. How strange. Strange indeed, but dangerous. So don't approach them if you do see them, you hear? 
Now, where was I? Ah, oh, darn it, I don't remember. Hmm. I always thought royal guards would be dashing, heroic, or even just a little... In times of dangerous children and roaming bear folk, I must say, it is good to still find gentlemen like yourself. A toast to you, good sir. Just a little less clueless. Sir? I... I heard about your boy. I'm really very sorry, sir. Yeah, not as much as I am. Well, maybe I can help? Was it near the mill, like the others? <sighs> yes. Hansel, he was taken near the mill. But you mustn't. It's too dangerous for us simple folk. Some things can't be helped, child. Evil will have its way in this wicked world. You'll see the world for what it is one day. Then you'll see. You'll see there's no good. I... I'm sorry, sir. But you're wrong. It's true. There is lots of bad. More than I ever realized. And even hiding from it on the farm didn't help me. But the thing is, there is good, too. Lots of good. And... and... I'll even prove it to you. I'll find your son, sir. I promise. Sure. As you say, little one. Such youthful innocence. Is there anything you can tell me about the mill? Anything that might help? To that witch in the mill, I'm sure of it. I'd left Hansel right there. The place was deserted. When I got back, he was gone. And the mill was all lit up and locked tight. Oh, but why did you leave him there? <sighs> My wife, she... She hadn't been herself lately. And we were starving, see? And you left him out there? All on his own? I know I've done wrong. I'm not proud. I'm a fool. I know it now, more than anyone. I just want him back. I want to make things right. What good is it, though? Evil will have its way in this wicked world. You'll see. I better get going now. I'll find your son, sir. I promise. just yet. I'm not even sure Hansel is in there. And if he is, I can't just let the witch keep kidnapping all these kids. I'll need to go meet her and see what's happening myself before I can help. H hello Is anybody home? Yes? <gasps> it's, it's you! you. Uh, y yes. Well, I... I met you earlier, and that book... A child. Uh, well, yeah, that's me. See, the book you borrowed. I was hoping... Ooh, what good timing. Oh, do come in. I'm just about to eat. Oh, no. You! You should come in! Now! Uh, I mean, uh... Please, would you come in? Oh, dear. Well... I... I suppose I'll... come in. <laughs> uh... Take a seat. Sit, sit. It's almost ready. 
Where are you, Hansel? There's more than just the door key there. What could they be used for? A stool. A stool beside a trap door. Witches aren't very creative with their traps. What? W what? Trap. That's a... It's a... Just sit down already. Her chair looks a lot more comfortable and less trap-like. What? W Just sit. Oh my. What could she possibly need such a big furnace for except to... Ugh. No, I don't want to think about it. I'd really prefer not to, actually. It looks gross enough from here. Aw, this woman doesn't seem to be very good at looking after her pets. Well, either that, or she is just really attached to an old one. There it is! So near, yet so far. No! No, no, no! Not that one! That's... that's, uh... my chair! Yes, my chair! Stop! That's, uh, my, uh, bedroom. You're not allowed. No! No, no, no! You can't leave. You can't. Uh, because, <laughs> uh, dinner. Yes, it's, uh, rude to leave when you're invited in. Isn't it? Take a seat. Sit, sit. It's almost ready. These witches might be downright creepy, but no one can deny their dedication. No way. Yes, stupid child. Kick, kick, kick. Huh? Um, what was that? Uh. Oh, this old house. Never mind that. Let's eat. Let's eat. There you go. <laughs> nice and, and comfy and delicious. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> two. I got two. <laughs> Oh, my head. Hansel? Is that you? How did you know my name? And you're okay. Oh, I'm so relieved. Okay. Relieved? Are you crazy? We're doomed. Doomed. Hansel, just... Doomed. Hansel, get a hold of yourself, boy. But... But she, she, she's going to, she's going to e e eat us. Nope, not if I can help it. So, how are you really, Hansel? You doing okay in here? We're going to be e e e eaten. Why would I be okay with that? I'm just trying to comfort you. Kind of. Kind of not so well. But I will get us out. Oh? Yeah? Well, to tell that to this guy next to me. If it helps you feel any better, your pa is very worried about you, you know? I is he c coming to save us? Ah, uh, well... No, not exactly, but... Oh, jeez! Then we're doomed! Doomed! Hmm. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Hansel, when I came into the house, there was a big bump. I heard you coming in. I... I... I was trying to warn you. How did you do that? It really made a noise, shook the whole house. Oh! I just kicked that s s support beam over there in the center of the room. 
if it gets bumped hard enough, you see, it sh shakes the upstairs level. Hmm, I do see. Interesting. So, what plans do you think you have for escaping? Don't you g g get it? We're trapped! Trapped! And doomed! Uh, geez, Hansel. Calm down. We're not doomed. It's okay. I'm sure I can figure something out anyway. Oh. I'm going to keep looking around for a way out, okay? Okay. If you say so. Oh my. How long has the witch been kidnapping these kids for? Yuck. What kind of person would mess with someone's skeleton just to escape a cell? According to Hansel, this beam supports the upstairs level. The mill witch really thought this through, huh? These witches might be downright creepy, but no one can deny their dedication. Ooh, it's a series of cogs and rods that seem to operate the trap door. It must be how the lever is connected to the trap door to open it. This is too far away. Blech. Who knows what the witch was using that for down here? Ew. This mill must have been used to grind grain or some such in the past, but now, now it looks like the witch is using it to grind something else entirely. Mm. Hmm. Seems this door's a bit more sturdier than the ones I've broken before. I think that's our best way out of here, if we can ever get out of this cage. Good idea. Not much point while we're still in this cage, though. Ooh, good idea. The keys are just above, so I can maybe get them to drop through, too. Let's see. Mm. Oh dear. That didn't quite go as planned. The lever is disconnected, so at least this way the witch can't use the trap door anymore. Tum 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 ta tum tum tum. <laughs> hey? <sighs> stupid children, stupid old nuisances. Won't be breaking my house when I eat you, will you, you stupid resafrezen? Hmm. I could hear the keys rattling when I do that, only. It doesn't seem to be enough to knock them down. I need something with more... oomph. Oh yes, good idea! I can't reach it from in here, but maybe I can bring it closer. Uh, watch your head there, Hansel. Huh? What? What was that? Th that was s s s sorcery, black magic. Y you're a w witch too. It's a, uh, uh, well, it's hard to explain. It's something I've only learned of recently, but I've been told it's called telekinesis. Telekinesis? Wait, y you don't mean you're from the woods in the west? Woods in the west? Well, I think my farm is kind of west from here, maybe. I knew it! I know you! You and your grandpa! The f family with telekinesis! It must be you! Wait, I don't understand. He doesn't know any telekinesis. I think you have me mistaken, Hansel. I'm pretty sure I don't. Your grandpa, he was famous! I read a book about him. He helped people from all over. He he used his telekinesis for all k k kinds of good deeds. He's like a, a hero, d d don't you know? No, I don't know. I mean, he's always been a hero to me, but not like that. I've never seen him use telekinesis, and he's never said anything to me about it. Well, you know how to use it. And if you know, then hurry up. Get us out of here already before we e 
eaten. Oh, yes, yes, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. That's so strange. My grandpa? Using this... thing? It can't be, can it? Big, sturdy-looking thing. Could give something a good whack, I'm sure. Aha! This heavy thing should do a better job at shaking the walls. Tum 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 ta tum tum tum. <laughs> Children, stupid little nuisances. Won't be breaking my house when I eat you, will you, you stupid resafrezen? That did the trick. I'm pretty sure I heard the keys falling down then. Only, now how do I get them? The mill witch is right up there, waiting to eat me and Hansel. It's too far away. Mm. Crickle crackle, crackle crick, crackety crickle crack. Hey? <sighs> stupid children, stupid little nuisances. Got them. Let's see if they work. Freedom! Uh, well, just about. Hold on. Hmm, I think I'll leave that be. Mm. See, Hansel? Told you I'd find a way. Let's get out of here. Well... That's Hansel and his papa reunited. Such a sweet thing to see. The way he hugged him, I don't think Hansel's papa will ever let him out of his sight now. Only thing is, I still need that spell book. I have to go back in, face up to the mill witch, and somehow get that book back for grandpa. I really do love- Hello again, Theodore. Hello, young one. Thanks for your help, Theodore. I best get going. Of course, young one. The stars be with you. I want to touch that. No, telekinesis won't work here. There, locked. Now, if I can just get the witch to fall for her own trap, I'll just hide these keys on my way out too. Won't be needing them anymore. I could just sneak up there, go straight for the book, but she can't keep getting away with this. I have to... I don't know. Stop her somehow. No, I don't need to mess with that anymore. This doesn't seem to work. I could just... She...
Yes? Yeah! Uh, I didn't do anything to you. You remembered wrong. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm just... You see, my sister. Yes, yes, my sister. You haven't seen her around, have you? She looks, uh, a lot like me. Sister? <laughs> of course. Uh, that is no. No, I haven't kidnapped anyone, no. But do come in, child. Come in. Are you hungry? You look hungry. Come in, come in. Take a seat. Sit, sit. It's almost ready. A stool. A stool beside a trap door. What? Just sit down. It's broken now, thanks to me. Yes, stupid child. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice and, and comfy and delicious. Gotcha. Ah! What? No! Why isn't it opening? Urgh! Open! These witches might... It's broken now. No, I refuse. No! That's a... Uh... No! You! Stay but you seem kind of preoccupied. Maybe I'll come back when you're not so busy. But, but, ah, fine, leave. I'll, I'll eat it all myself. I could open the trap door this way, but there's no point right now. If I'm going to trap the witch, I need to make sure she's on top of it first. I... she can't keep getting away with this. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was. Are you hungry? Take a seat. Hopefully, this time it won't jam. There you gotcha. <laughs> Using it here is a little un. Broken now. Oh my. Ugh. Hmm. The little guy doesn't seem interested in it. Interested in this little guy? Ah. Uh. No. You. On this? No! These 
which is my... No! But... But... Fine. Are you okay? Yes, Bjorn is what my name is, isn't it? Uh... Abba. Er... Abber... Abby? Yes, yes, Abby. I am well, Abby. Good grief! You travelers have peculiar conversations. Do you always quibble over your own names? Oh, yes. Nothing like a good name quibbling. Here, here. To quibbling. I can't turn down a toast. To quibbling! But, yes. Yes, I'm fine, thanks. Just hurry. We should get going as soon as possible, I think. Couldn't agree more. I'm figuring this out as quick as I can, I promise. Are you okay? Yes, you're... Uh, yes, yeah. oh, okay. but just hurry. Couldn't agree. Evening once into what do I Oh thank goodness you're safe. How did it go? What happened? Yes, that bumbling oaf's eyes couldn't have lit up fast enough when he laid them upon me. He seemed pleased enough with the notion I was running away with my life. Supposedly forever, for all he knows. You've done a good thing, you know. I appreciate it. And so does Ashley, I'm sure. I should probably... Very well, ma Strange thing to say. I wonder what makes him so sure of that. my pa I could open the trap door if I'm going to trap the witch I could she can according to Hansel no hmm if I manage to get this tied to part of the mechanism then maybe maybe I could have a pulley system Use the clothesline to pull open the trap door. And if I run the other end upstairs, I can use it as a lever from there. All right, now let's see. Maybe if I try using telekinemius to get the rope tied up there. Tum 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 ta tum tum tum. <laughs> little boy stew, little boy stew. Only made better with a girl in there, too. A town who dares to say I'm wrong won't have their children very long. Yes, perfect. Done. Now, really, that's pretty impressive if I do say so myself. Now the trap is set. I can easily open the trap door upstairs by pulling on the rope. I just have to wait for the right moment and the witch is as good as trapped. Yes? <gasps> I'm s Are you hungry?
Take us. Hopefully. Yeah. There you go. Gotcha. Why isn't it opening? The trap is set. Yeah! Gotcha! <laughs> Spell? Nope. I'm not using this on anything except me to keep me nice and safe. Interested in this little guy? He doesn't seem to care much about. There it is! This doesn't seem to work. I'd really prefer not to act. No. Mm. Hmm. She won't be kidnapping any more kids from in there. Serves her right. Child, let me out! Let me out! No, you wicked, wicked person. You're never getting out. Oh, but, but, but I'm not wicked. I clearly heard you say you would eat us. You sang about it, actually. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! <sighs> Talking to this one is going to be tricky. What spell did you put on the book? <laughs> like I'll tell you, you wretched thing. You'll never have my book. Never. Kick it in. Hmm. I'm going to regret this, I think. But what if we make a deal? Hmm? I'll promise to let you out if you promise to let me have the book back and... Hmm? And promise to stop kidnapping children. Mmm... No! My book! Not talking to you anymore. Go away! But... but you'll starve in there if I don't help you out. La 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 la! Not listening! Why do you have to kidnap all these kids anyway? They never did anything to you. They get hungry. Not my fault they come nosing around where they shouldn't be. Well, it is your fault if you trap them and, uh, eat them. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, no comment. Next question. Do you remember the spell you used to protect the book? Ah, of course I do. It was... Wait... Huh? No! Not falling for your cunning little rotten children tricks! Mmm, dang. Thought I had you then. You'll never have my book! Never! Kick it in! I've dabbled in protection spells a little bit. Do you think I could figure it out? Ha! Fat chance! You couldn't hope to know half the spells I know! Never! Like some rotten child knows more about spells than me, stupid little rizzle, frizzle, ribble, rubble. I'm on your side, you know. I get it. I hate children too. Eh? Truly, they are the worst. 
So annoying, right? If I had my way, I wouldn't be a child anymore. I can't wait to be an adult. Yes, well, you are a stinking rotten child, so deal with it. I just wish... I wish one day I'll grow up to be a great and intelligent witch like you. Ha! Like me? <laughs> That's impossible. You'll never be as great at being a witch as me. No one will! Huh. <sighs> You're right. No one could ever be as great a witch as you are. Exactly. See, you're finally getting it. For a dirty, rotten, good-for-nothing child, you're not completely stupid. If you keep at it, you could at least be a slightly not completely terrible witch. Maybe. If you don't tell me the spell, then I'll... I'll... draw all over your walls in crayon. Ha! Huh, if you're anything like Grandpa, that'll make you real mad. Eh... Uh, eh? Like stupid rotten children won't do stupid rotten things anyway. Uh... Hmm... I'm not very good at the making threats thing, I don't think. I've dabbled in protection spells a little bit. Ha! You couldn't hope like some ro <sighs> Exact. I see your tricks, rotten child. I'm not falling for them. I'm not. Hmm. Do you remember? Ah, of course. Huh? Mm. You'll not. I'm on your side, you. Eh? If I had my way- Yes, well- I just wish- Ha! You'll ne- <sighs> Exactly! For a dirty rotten- If you keep at it, you could- I'm on your- Eh? If I had my- Yes, well- I just wish- Ha! You'll ne- <sighs> Exactly! For a- if you Do you remember? Ah, of course. Huh? Mm. You'll never. I'm on your edge. If you I just. Ha! You'll. Ha! <sighs> exactly. For a. If. I've done. Ke ke ke. No, it's true. I admit, you're just way too good a witch. There's no way I could hope to know such brilliant spells as yours. Right! Exactly right! I remember everything in my clever, clever brain. And no one knows except me. <laughs> Do you remember the spell you used to protect the book? I bet it was something way too clever for me. Oh, <laughs> Of course it was. Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? The best recipes for children are bound within thee. There's not a cookbook or... Hold on. Ah! Wait! No, no, no! <laughs> ah! Curses, curses, curses! Well, whatever. You didn't hear it all, so it's useless. So, ha! I'm never talking to you again, and you'll never hear the rest. So, joke's on you! Ah, stupid rotten children. Think you're all so clever? This could be enough. I'll see if the sorceress knows the spell from just this bit. Do you know anything about protection spells? What? Well, uh, yes, of course. 
But what are you asking about that for? It, it's just, well, I found your spell book, but it's protected, you see. Oh. Oh, you mean that spell. Yes, yes, of course. But it's complicated. <sighs> of course it is. This is a chant-based spell. A chant to set it and a chant to break it. One chant cannot be broken without knowing the one that came before it, see? Oh, I do see. And you don't know the one that came before it, do you? Ah, uh, no. No, I don't. Hmm, well, you got the... Y yes ma'am. I think I might know at least some of the chant if that helps. Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? The best recipes for children are bound within thee. There's not a cookbook or... And that was it. That's all I could get from her. Oh. Ha! Huh. Oh my, so simple. Though I should have expected as much from a mere mill witch. It's an owner's enchantment. Meaning it has been given the mind to look after the mill witch. You just need a chant to remind it of why it should be helping you instead. Oh, really? I have to make the book feel bad for me? Uh, sure, something like that. The chant to break it is as follows, so listen close, child. Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? My cursed grandpa is waiting for thee. There's not a more powerful spellbook in sight. Teach us the cure from your pages so white. That's it. Speak those words and the book is yours. Oh, okay. Got it. I think... I best get looking... Um, yes. Right, let's see if this works. Ahem. Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? My cursed grandpa is waiting for thee. There's not a more powerful spellbook in sight. Teach us the cure from your pages so white. Aha, success. And there I was, the band of thieves all around, their eyes on the royal jewels. Oh, yes, I see. Wow, you sure are brave. And just then, as I raised the sword, light glinting bright off my steel... Sir, there you are! Well, no, wait, this is the best bit! It's the girl, sir! She's been spoiled! What? What? Where? Sir, one of the villagers. They say they've seen her walk into this very town just this very night. By the stars, right under our noses. The nerve. And the bear men. No sighting, sir. I will keep asking around about both of them, sir. Well, maybe it's a good idea to see if they've left the village. Because if I was them, but I'm definitely not. Definitely not. Well, that's what I'd do. Run away. Far away. <laughs> that is good of you, kind sir, to offer your simpleton assistance. This is a matter for the great minds of the Royal Guards, is it not? Sir, exactly right. As always, sir. We'll hop to it. Back to the nitty-gritty, man. Let's root out those dastardly rapscallions once and for all. Oh, hurry, Anna. And so not only did I put an end to her catching kids now, but I also got the book. Yes, wouldn't want any more kids captured, would we? Pardon? No, nothing. It's a great good you've done, sure. So two down, one to go. If you wish to discuss the last one, hurry up about it. The sooner you get the last item, the sooner we can save your grandpa. What did you say about the rose again? An enchanted rose. The tale goes that a dragon won. You should speak to the minister at- Wow, a dragon- I best get... Um, here. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, he but But it doesn't seem to have any handle. Hello. Did you say that? Why, yes, it's right through the door. Alas, for many... For years, this place was built entirely for the... I'm but an old man. Oh, a detective, Miss... Maybe I can have a look... <laughs> Thanks for your... Of course. have something to do with this? I don't even know if I'm pressing the right keys here. There's so many. Hello again. Hello. Thanks for your help. Of course. I'm not about to... How neat! It's like the path... This... So mystical... Nah, I don't think it will do any good going there again. I'm not a... How neat! This must be the shrine, it must be. But what does it mean? So mystical and... Doesn't seem to be. stump have something to do with this? I don't even know if I'm pressing the right keys here. There's so many. Nothing about a bell tower, I don't think. Nothing really looks out of the ordinary. Oh, wait, except this. There's a small cluster of strange little symbols here on the right window. Huh, how about that? Not sure what it means, but it definitely is peculiar. Hmm. Hmm. He could... I don't want to hurt the poor guy. Oh yeah! If I bent the lamp down, I could light the lanterns. Then maybe I can light those pretty patterns on the window. Let's see... Mm. Aha! Now I can reach them!
I really do like. are burnt right into the wood there. This must be the shrine, it must be. But what does it mean? So mystical and mysterious. This should have been it. Maybe I got the order of keys all wrong? I really do li I really do- The left one is showing an evil, dark- The right window is a- There's a small cluster of strange little- Huh, how about that? Hello again, the- Hello! Thanks for- Of course.
This should have been it. Maybe... Actually sounded pretty good. I think I'm getting better at this. Oh yes, I think I did something. Aha! Uh -huh. Stars above, I don't believe it. You, you, you did it. You opened the door, young one. After all these years, you did it. Look at that stairs. This must be the bell tower, right? It can only be the stairs to the Red Dragon's bell itself. Oh, how exciting. You don't want to look? Come on, I know you must be dying to see her. Oh, no. No, I can't. I'm a little nervous, I think. This is a moment I must savor and cherish. Go, young one. I'll be here waiting for you. No, that's too far away for me. Mm. Hmm, I don't know if that worked. Wait, oh wait, I think I see something. Is that... I think I see something flying towards me. Actually... Uh-oh, I think it's charging at me! Ah! Uh... Nice, d dragon I just... Just need to g go to Glasma Mountain, you see, and... Oh, dear. She seems to be a bit mad. The dragon's bell. How do they manage to ring it without a rope? Oh, of course. This little guy, is he, is he yours? All this time, she just wanted her baby back. Jeez, no wonder you are so upset. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Um, I hope this isn't too much to ask now, but do you think... Could you fly me to the top of Glass Mountain, maybe? I wouldn't ask if it wasn't really important, honest. It's... it's for my family, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. was incredible. I really can't thank you enough, Red Dragon. I just have to quickly look for something and then we can get going, okay? Oh, how nice. She's waiting for me. The path seems to continue moving back behind the house there. Why would someone living in a place with such a view have their shutters closed? It's all broken and crooked. Looks like the mountain has grown right over it. All right, Crank. Ah, crazy. And what was I doing here again? <laughs> uh, hello, sir. I, 
I was wondering... Ah, uh, no, you can't have it! Whoa, but... huh? Ah, you again! And I said no! Go home! But sir, you don't even know what it is I came for. Well? Oh, I... I need a rose. A special rose from the top of this mountain. A rose? But I thought you were here for... Uh, hmm. No! You can't have it! Now go away forever! But do you know where the rose is, sir? Of course! I have it like... Wait... Ah, no, no idea. No roses here. Now go away. Hmm. How rude. I might not be able to pick it up, but I'm certainly taking it all in. What a view. It's all broke. Probably locked. I don't know. I'm not about to try barging in uninvited. Locked. wouldn't be useful, I think. My telekinesis won't work here. Wow! Wundahorn and the bell tower look tiny from way up here. Such a long, long way! Dragons sure are convenient. <laughs> 